Hey there, it's Christian from Seven Gaming Network, and I'm here with another Star Wars Destiny Tactica on another character. And this time we're going to the deserts of Tatooine because we're going to take a look at this fella here. It's the Tuscan Raider. Now, the Tuscan Raider. I'll go through the card. I'll go through the die sides. We'll have a look at. Um, points value, ability, role on the battlefield, what decks you can put him in, and even how you can play against him a little bit with a few tips there. So lots to go through. Um, first of all, I do want to mention though, the theme. Really cool theme with this, uh, and we'll see a little bit more of that with his ability, um, but you can really imagine when that ability comes around exactly how we see those Tuscan Raiders in episode four. Really great. Okay, so let's have a look at these die sides then. So we have got We've actually got three damage sides to start with. Now it is split damage. We've got one ranged, one melee, and then a three melee, uh, which is quite strong, but we're paying a resource for it. So it's gonna cost us. Um, and I've got to say over, over nine points, uh, three damage sides is, is really good. Uh, yes, we can compare it to things like uh, Padawan, eight points, three damage sides as well, um, not having to pay any uh, for the uh, for those points of damage, but still, I think in in this in the color pie as well, um, the nine points for a, a dice with three damage sides on is okay. We we we're quite happy with that. Um, uh, now, the one shield. I think in, in yellow, one of the things that we tend to see is the characters have slightly lower hit points. Um, certainly characters like Balatik, um, Django even to some extent, he's only got 10. Um, so a, a yellow character with a, an inherent shield, a built-in shield on their die, um, it's not the worst result in the world to roll. Uh, it's not why he's here, we're not using him for his shields, but actually it's it could have been worse. Uh, and then of course he has his resource side. So I think looking at the die, uh, we're fairly underwhelmed. The three is good, uh, as in the three melee damage is good. Having to pay for it, a little bit awkward, but we are in yellow, villain yellow, which doesn't normally struggle for resources. So that does offset it a little bit. And we still can't sniff at three uh, black damage sides, there's no modded here. So it can actually be fairly consistent, the damage output that we can expect from the Tuscan Raider, as long as we've got a bit of support with the resources. Okay, so let's talk about this ability then. Quite frankly, it's good. It's a really good ability, I think. Um, anything that, of course, breaks the rules to sort of go twice, as you might say, um, I, I think is, is always going to be good in this game. Uh, now, I think what you what's really important about this ability is less that it's resolved one of its character dice, more that it's resolved its upgrade dice. Um, now, of course, you might roll the three, you might have that resource, and it's quite nice to be able to roll that three uh, melee and then and then immediately resolve it with you know no um, manipulation back or no chance to respond by your opponent. As I've said, those two action uh, type abilities, uh, opportunities, we need to take hold of them with both hands and use them. But you are going to roll that side very often. So really where you're going to get the power out of this is by having a good upgrade on him uh, that has got some sort of quite powerful uh, impacting effect that when it hits the table and then gets resolved really quickly creates that real big threat uh, or problem for your opponent to deal with. Um, now, cards that sort of come to mind that, that could, could combo well with that um, in, in terms of our upgrades would be things like, um, now the classic one that we see in the Vader Raider deck um, is the Sith Holocron, uh, which you, you use to be able to give the Tuscan Raider a blue upgrade uh, and then into the Mind Probe. And of course the Mind Probe has the special on it that says that you can uh, deal damage equivalent to the number of cards in their hand. Now if you've got Mind Probe on and you activate your Tuscan Raider first, uh, you've got a good chance, you've got a one in three chance of rolling the special on the Mind Probe. And of course you discard a card. If it's the first turn of, of the round, they've got five cards in hand, unless it's late game. And so you're gonna be able to immediately resolve that for five damage. 
So that's a really good combo and is probably one of the most powerful uses of his ability with the current card pool. Um, there are there are other cards that, that sort of can work okay with that. Um, Cunning is, is a kind of a niche one because it depends what other specials you've got. Um, you know, if in a deck like that you've got Mind Probe somewhere else, then obviously you can take advantage of, of, of a Cunning if you roll that. Uh, but also, Cunning is one of those ones that it can be brilliant if there's a really great special on the board. Um, and, and the Tuscan Raiders are going to be able to take advantage of that with no res, uh, response by your opponent. So that, that, that can be quite nice, but it's quite situational. And you probably want to make sure that, that you've got some other good specials in a deck like that before you try and take advantage of that combo. Uh, another one that comes to mind is hmm, Flamethrower. It's got the four side. Um, so being able to, if you've got the resource, um, be able to discard a card and resolve that four for one on the flamethrower side, that's pretty nice. Be able to just suddenly chuck out four damage. Um, so that's a possibility as well. Um, but ultimately I think uh, where we're seeing the, the, the best use of that ability is on the very clever use of Mind Probe. Um, just a point as well, if you see your shield... Um, that can potentially save a character. If if you're staring down the barrel, and it does sometimes happen this way, where you've got a character who's just got one or maybe two hit points left, uh, and your your opponent they have the initiative, uh, and it comes back to you. It, it's a real last ditch attempt, but it's something to bear in mind. If you activate a Tuscan Raider and you can get that shield result, um, or if you've given him a, an upgrade like say Jetpack, which is, of course has got a two shield side well then you can discard a card, resolve that ability, and that might just keep that extra character alive long enough, depending on how good their role is of course, um, to slightly offset that, that initiative advantage that your opponent's got from, from taking a battlefield. So that that's can be a neat little lifesaver to bear in mind with that ability. Um, now in terms of the role of the Tuscan Raider, it's pretty straightforward really. He is here to deal damage. That's, that's what you want him. I would be loading him up with some uh, aggressive upgrades or some clever upgrades like we talked about. Something to maximise his, um, his melee damage, so something like the flamethrower, um, or potentially we could stick something like the gaffy stick on him. The gaffy stick isn't, is, isn't a great card, really. Um, it's okay. It, it, it's, it's fine. Um, I think with the the plus two, you know that's that's going to roll. He's got um, the, the one melee side, uh, the one for one, the three for one, which is obviously going to be more expensive. Uh, it does also have the side that you have to pay for on the gaffy stick. Um, you know, if you end up rolling the three with the Tuscan Raider and then the one, uh, the the costed one on the gaffy stick, it could just be a bit awkward because you you're trying to pay two damage, uh, trying to pay two resources to get, okay, five damage out, that's quite nice, but you've also paid two resources to get the gaffy stick on him, and suddenly it's four resources, realistically, for five damage, it doesn't seem that great. Um, so, all, all in all, uh, I'd just load him up with some sort of uh, um, uh, aggressive type upgrades and just get him trying to deal some damage, that's really where the Tuscan Raider's uh, strength is. Um, points wise, he's 9, um, his 8 health is a little bit low, but we're kind of seeing that within the yellow colour pie, so that's kind of par for the course with yellow. Um, but I think with 3 damage sides on him, um, and with you know that strong ability, which, which really can be very very good, I think his, his 9 points is probably about right. Um, where things are currently at. I think given some time we might find that he starts to fall behind in, in value as more and more cards come out. Um, so in terms of decks that he's going in at the moment, well, we have got uh, the, the big one of course is Vader Raider that we see him in. Um, and I'm not going to go into loads of detail for that because uh, it's one of the most popular decks. If you want to know more, check out Tiny Grimes. He was the guy who and he, he did a big deck tech on it. Uh, and we'll talk you through Vader Raider and you can even watch him playing games with it uh, so you can learn how to play it. Uh, obviously it's not a cheap deck to put together because it's got a double, um, it's got an elite version of Vader so that's, and he's probably the, the most sought after card in the set. 
uh, well he definitely is, uh, along with Han Solo. Um, but ultimately this is a Tuscan Raider, this Tuscan Raider is going to work well in aggro builds with aggro upgrades. I, I mean that, that's really what he's about. You could use him as um, a sort of a, a, a bit of damage output in more of a controlling setup. Uh, and maybe use him nine points to get access to yellow in your deck. And that could be fine, that could be quite good. He has got those three damage sides. Um, but you need to make sure you've got some resources because you need to be able to, if you roll that three melee, you've got to have the resources to be able to take advantage of it. It's rubbish to roll that and then not be able to, to use it. So, I mean, I don't think he really relies upon who he's paired with. Um, he's there to do middling amounts of damage with a trick to it. I mean, that, that's really his role and how he's going to slot into a, into a deck. Um, now, if you're playing a, against a, a team with Tuscan Raider in, um, you, I think you need to be careful. You need to play around that ability a little bit. Um, I think prepare for the max hit always. Uh, I, I tend to be quite pessimistic in how I risk assess when I'm playing games and I'm trying to look at right what's worst case scenario can I deal with that I think that's a good question to ask yourself pretty much every turn every round of every game that you play um, but I think with something like Tuscan Raider on on the opponent's team if they're if, if they've got an upgrade on it uh, you know if they're doing the mind probe thing or, or they've got a flamethrower on him or, or something chunky that could suddenly unexpectedly chuck a bunch of damage at you it shouldn't be unexpectedly is what I'm saying you need to prepare for that and see that that if you've got a character who's edging towards death bear in mind that's probably going to go off and you'll need some way to, to mitigate that um, and I think that uh, as you're preparing to play against the Tuscan Raider also bear in mind that I wouldn't bother with him unless he gets upgraded yes he can do his three for one resource but ultimately he's not really going to damage you with much else. It's when he gets an upgrade, that's when he starts to become dangerous. Um, and you need to allow for that three to suddenly roll in and hit you. Um, but ultimately he's not really a particularly powerful character without a good upgrade on. So I wouldn't start trying to kill him unless your opponent starts to upgrade him. Um, ways in which you can control it, of course, is if you... You don't necessarily have to go after the character and get the character off the board, although with only 8 health that's not super difficult, he can die quite quickly. Um, but if you hit their resources uh, and you're playing more controlly, well then clearly that's going to make it very much more difficult for this character to do anything, because his one really good side, his 3 melee, you've got to pay for it. So if you can, get the re if you can disrupt them that's a really strong play. And also discard, this is considerably more difficult because the ability only needs to discard one card to, to get it going, to, for it to activate. Um, but if for some reason they're activating their Tuscan Raider a little bit, they're leaving him till later in the turn, uh, you know, maybe they've already tried to do a bit of a reroll with Vader or something like that, um, or whatever characters they're playing with, then if you've got discard in your deck, you know, you're playing Jabba or you're playing Dooku or you're playing Night Sisters or something, and you think you can get those cards out of hand, that can, that can really help you control uh, the damage. And if you're playing those kind of um, characters anyway, you don't mind discarding. So actually that further helps to neuter this character and push your strategy along. Anyway, so, so there's the Tuscan Raider. Uh, he's nine points of ability to put out some damage with a bit of a trick in there. And really the, the trick is where you're trying to work around and take the biggest advantage of. Um, as ever, if you can think of any other tricks with his ability or maybe some of the good combos uh, that I haven't pointed out in the video, please leave them in the comments. The whole idea is that people watch these videos and can uh, glean not only information from the video but from what you guys are putting on the comments as well. So. If you want to get in touch with me, you can get in touch with me through the Knights of Discord channel, um, uh, Knights of Ren Discord channel. Uh, my online handle is Peace Lord. I'd love to hear from you. And if you've got any requests for any of these Tactica, then please let me know and I'll see what I can do. Uh, keep playing Destiny and until next time, see ya.